Last, um, last video, what I want to do is kind of discuss this difference between development and production and the types of errors that we see in both and why it's so important to try to fix things in development. So um, what you might be thinking you're looking at is the CS125 website, but um, you're actually not looking at the, the CS125 website. Uh, what you're looking at, get rid of some of this old stuff here. Um, what you're looking at is a, um, a local version of the CS125 website that I've set up for development. So if you look over here, you'll see that the URL in the, in the URL bar is not the same. Um, this is different. So this is a representation of the fact that this is something that I have set up on my computer so that I can work on the website. Um, the, the website that we're using for this class is actually powered by uh, quite a bit of code. Um, and so, you know, part of what I do every day, in addition to doing these lessons and, you know, trying to help you guys on the forum, uh, is work on the, the code that actually powers things. And so I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you this as an example of a development environment and kind of the differences um, and, and the type of things that you can do in a development environment. So one of the reasons that we, we have these is to allow us, or, us to experiment and to break things. And so let's, let's see an example of that. So I'm gonna go to the, the homepage. Uh, the code for the homepage is actually right here. Uh, this is not in Java. This is in a language called TypeScript uh, using a framework called React. Um, and so, and you can actually kind of see, um, you know, a little bit of a map between the, the contents of this file and the contents that are on this page. And I'm not here to teach a course on React and TypeScript, but what I want to do is show you kind of how, uh, how you, can, you can change things, right? So I have this set up to automatically reload. Uh, so if I change the text here, what you'll see is, um, and hopefully this works sometimes. Oh, there it is. Okay, just took a sec. So you'll see that I added the word entire, um, and now I'll remove it again. Um, and this is one of these things where, where when you're developing, it's really nice to have things change really quickly so that you can see the effects of, of the things that you're trying. Now let's look at what happens when something breaks. So we'll talk about kind of a, a compiler error in this setting because this, this code is actually being compiled. So let me introduce a, a bug and you'll see immediately my IDE is trying to help me and tell me, whoa, something is, is wrong here. It's not, it's not really that helpful. Um, and so you'll actually see a compiler error. Uh, and so this particular environment also uses a quote unquote compiler, even if what's actually being uh, delivered to your browser is still code that you can almost read. And again, I'm not going into the, you know, the, the details of TypeScript and React, although it really is a fun tech stack to learn because the web is a fun place to build stuff. Um, but anyway, but this is what I see locally. Um, when something goes wrong, and I've seen these messages plenty. Um, and so, you know, this is kind of a sign for me, and of course, usually I wouldn't get to that point because I would have seen all of this red highlighting in the IDE, and it's telling me like something is broken, and I, I would have fixed that. Um, but, you know, I, you know, during the development of the website, I experienced a lot of the same problems you guys experience when you write Java code. I have, you know, problems because you know, variables that I thought had a value didn't have a value. Um, and so something crashes. And so I try to fix those mistakes and stuff like that. And the goal is, you know, to, to kind of maintain this production environment, right? So this is production for me. This is the main site. Um, now, you know, as you guys have been experiencing over the past couple days, you know, we try to be aggressive about uh, you know, making changes and, and you know, experimenting in production. Um, I've got my lemon right here next to my desk, which you can't see. And so that's my friendly reminder that it's okay to break things from time to time, um, particularly in the pursuit of something more beautiful and more powerful. Uh, but this is, again, kind of the distinction here. So as I'm developing, I make lots of mistakes. I notice those mistakes in my development environment. Uh, when I'm ready to actually deploy the code, there's a series of steps that I go through to do that that causes the code to be then available to you, the end user, um, to sort of power your experience of this class. So, so again, you know, my particular story is relates to, to a little bit sort of um, a little bit circular on some level, but as it relates to this class, how we actually, you know, the difference between a development environment where we can make mistakes, we can fix them, stuff breaks quickly, and it's okay to kind of fix it and move on, and the production environment where we want things to be uh, more stable.